I remember a couple months ago, I went out with my family and we were out on the beach. We were looking at the sunset go down. And it felt so nice watching the sunset for some reason on the beach. You know, you probably get this feeling too when you're at the beach and you watch the sunset go down. And it's just this magical feeling, you know? It, it kind of heals you. People go to the beach because it has this like, this healing moment, you know? And then they go to the beach like just once a month. Once a month out of the year. Once a month, so 12 times a year. You, you, you probably don't go to the beach once a month anyway. You, you probably go like once every couple of months. And do you really think that's enough? to heal to heal everything that's going on in your life like like you know the grades at school are stressing you out uh maybe it's the job maybe it's maybe it's sports i don't know you, we all have stress in our lives okay and when we let that stress go unchecked when we let it build up bad things happen and you know nature is a great way to de-stress yourself and so many of us leave nature to just go into the beach like once every couple of months that's the only experience of nature we get but really you could get it anywhere you don't need a, a kayak like me you don't need a kayak you could just go literally sit in your backyard and listen to insects chirp it, this is like the most healing thing that's better than medicine in my opinion like this is better than medicine for your mental health just going out and listening to animals you know looking at stuff like you know look at that look at that view there's some trees over there i'm trying to go over there but you know this is very therapeutic for you this is probably like the best way you could use your free time just go into nature in a world full of overstimulation music video games you know i hear some music right here come on come on i'm trying to record my youtube video but we're always constantly stimulated by the social media, the Facebook likes, all of that. In a world where that's always happening, you need to find some time to calm down and to de-stress. A, a video game, an hour of video games a day will not rest you. That's not rest. An hour of listening to music will not rest your brain. It's just, just stimulation. Humans were meant to adventure, not stay in their little 15 by 15 inch office space, you know? We weren't meant to sit at the desk eight hours a day. We weren't meant to go to school and sit on these desks that do stuff to your back in like 20 years time. We weren't meant to just like be in a solitude, be in solitude in a solitary space. We were meant to explore. We were meant to, you know, uh, adventure. We were meant to adventure. Can you imagine if every day you felt that same healing effect at the beach. That same effect that you felt at the beach when you watched the sunset go down. Imagine if you felt that every day for the rest of your life. You can do that. You can do that by just going, looking at the trees, you know. Maybe it's like, just go walk in the woods. Maybe it's, you know, look at the clouds. Just stare at the clouds in your car. Stare at the clouds while you're driving somewhere. Well, maybe not if you're driving, but like, you know, if you're in the passenger seat. But, you know, just observe nature all the time, bro. If you have the choice between your phone and just like looking at a tree, look at the tree. There, simple. Imagine you do this for the rest of your life. What do you think you're gonna be? I mean, how do you think you're gonna feel? How could you not feel happy? Do you think you would feel more happy if you were just like looking at everyone else's posts, feeling FOMO, you know, not respecting yourself because you're just wasting away on the internet or you stared at the tree. You, you took in the leaves, the nature and all that. You took in the oxygen, you took in the fresh breath of air, you know. You were present in nature. That's the way you're gonna be happy. And obviously you don't like have to spend an hour a day meditating in the woods, but like just a minute, a minute or two where you're just completely in the zone of nature maybe it's like i don't know you, you know you don't need me to tell you anything else bro you, you know what you need to do just go live with nature maybe go out barefoot today go out barefoot right now touch your feet on the the concrete not concrete that's not nature the grass let your nervous system feel that because that's actually good for you that actually stimulates your like day, you know? Same with, it has the same effect as like cold showers. 
nature has therapeutic qualities. It, it's been backed by science. It'll improve your mental health and it'll also make you a more productive person because of that. So imagine what we could do now if we incorporated a little bit of nature every day into your life. Imagine if you just incorporated it into your routine. Make coffee, go stand outside. Imagine that and you just like listen to the, the insects chirping, that counts, that counts. But imagine we go forward with this mindset that nature will help you, okay? I want you to feel what I feel right now. So I want you to go right now, pause the video or come do it when you can, go out into nature. Maybe it's your garden or the plants outside. Maybe it's just listening to the birds, watching the clouds for a minute. Just do something right now for like a minute or two and focus on it. And tell me you don't feel happy. Tell me you don't feel content with that. Now do this every day for the rest of your life and imagine how you'll feel, okay? Now this is Forrest Faisal, think big.